Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum single player episode. I'm just in from like a 10k step walk. I'm knackered right now. So I thought I'd do a little video just today because I thought eh, we'll, we'll take it easy today. We'll, have, we'll have, a, have a good time. Anyway, let me just stop here. Previous episode, I unfortunately sold my Bushman. However, we managed to get a car 98k, which is pretty good. Car 98k, and we've also got the scope for it. And we've also got some rounds for it up here. We've got a full mag loaded, essentially. And we've got a bunch of 9mm and 45 ACPs in here, because those are two of my favourite, eh... Uh, two of my favourite calibres in this game. We've also still got meaty pockets. We had to sell one of our meat bags, one of our meaty, meaty bags over here, my spawn. Um, but in my tactical military pants, uh, I, I still have lots of meat, lots and lots of meat, and I did sell my Bushman by accident, a lot of people pointed that out to me, and I did not realise I had did that, so, yeah, fun times, fun times, fun times, I need to find a new knife, anyway, we're going here today, because I feel like picking up a bunch of food and stuff like that, some essential items that will essentially help me, uh, you know, flesh out my base a little bit, I'm gonna, I say that, I say that, what I'm actually going to do, is I'm gonna go over there, you see that building right there? I'm going to the PD. I'm going to the police station. I'm going to the police station. I'm going to go see if I can get myself a shotgun or something like that. Something that I can complement the current 80 k with. You know, just, just, just something oomphy. Some. I know that. I know that. I know the current 80 k is oomphy. It's 792 for God's sake. 792 by 57. That's a pretty big caliber round. But uh, I want a shotgun. I want an Estas. I want an 1887. I would really much prefer a DT-11B, an over-under shotgun. One of my favourite shotguns of all time in this game. Oh, that as well. I mentioned the Mac 10 like, last episode, or the, day, the, the episode before that. I also forgot that they're actually working on quite a few new weapons. The SKS. I totally forgot about that. I had totally forgotten about that. I only reminded myself of that only just yesterday. Can I get through there? Yeah, I can get through there. Let's see if I can find some uh, some clothing. Uh, we are in the we are in the dead of night. Let me just go to my actions bar, and we want to trigger the check time. It's currently four eighteen in the a.m. Four eighteen in the a.m. night time. We are dead at night. I'm gonna take those diaries because I want to try crafting. Um, hello. I want to try crafting improvised stuff. Oh my, oh my god, oh my days. That's not supposed to... <gasps> Okay. Alright. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to... <gasps> They're still moving. They're still moving, look. Oh, that's a lot of puppets. That is a lot of puppets. That is an extreme amount of puppets. I can't. Madam, shush, shush. Right, I want to try and get myself a, a knife in here. <gasps> Chocolate bar. I'm not allowed those. I'm allowed all these though. I'm allowed potatoes and onions. I'm allowed all that stuff. I've actually done my calories today, so <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't be, I can't be, I can't be eating anymore today. So ooh, there's quite a few of them. Ooh. Right, I'm in a dead end spot here. I need to be careful. Barbed wire. I'm gonna take that. See, they're all over there. They're all around that house. They're not. Uh... Oh, there's one right there. Nice, nice, nice! This is a stealth mission today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going stealthy, uber, uber stealth. Dead of night, oh crocs. <laughs> Get them in the bin. Oh, what's that? A raincoat, I don't want the raincoat. I'm not feeling like it's uh, too rainy outside. Some trainer shoes, okay. We spawn with those, so I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with them. I'm gonna take the garlic though. Oh, a knife! It's a butter knife. I don't think this would be very sharp, but it's 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 good as it's as good as it's gonna get for right now. Um, 
I need to be very, very careful about that horde back there. It's not even a horde, it's not actually a horde. It's the fact that the, the puppets have heard me doing something and they've all went, huh, what's over there? Huh, Bob's away over to see what's going on. I wonder what Bob, I wonder what Bob's gonna go see what's going on. I'm gonna join him. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? They're all nosy bastards. Nosy buggers. Absolutely nosy. They've got, they've got, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put it in my sporing, but mm, cleaver. Oh, tea, tea. You always want your tea. Get your tea. Get your tea. Right, there's a that one. There we go. I got a knife. I got an actual knife. I'm gonna keep the cleaver though. The cleaver's gonna be useful. Uh, when it comes to any sort of melee engagements because it is a rapid fire weapon and I love it. I love it so. Uh oh. Oh shit. I'm gonna jump out the back door as if nothing even happened. Just gonna walk over here. There we go. He's, in he's inside there. He's up. He's on the second floor. He's up there somewhere. Madam. Oh. Did you see that? That was out of the corner of my eye there. I did you see that? Am I am I losing my damn mind? Did you see something? Shh, shut up. This is supposed to be a stealth mission. I'm not, I'm not losing my mind. You guys saw that, right? You guys saw that puppet kind of just elevate itself, right? You, I'm not, I'm not losing my mind. I'm doing, I'm doing this late at night, by the way. Like, I'm not doing this early in the day. I'm doing this late at night. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not delirious. I'm not, I'm not losing. I don't think I'm losing my mind. Where are you? Where are you? Where? Where? Wait, are you up there? How did you get up there? How did you... I'm not going to ask questions. I don't want to know the answer to that question, because if she got up there with the ladders... Nah. Mm -mm. That's a solid no from me. <laughs> That's a solid no from me. Um. This might be a good opportunity to possibly take out a horde. I do have ample arrows. I could feasibly do it. I could do it. I could take out a horde right now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go up, 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 up. It sounds as though I've, <laughs> I've woken up the PD, but it's okay. Hello, friend. I'm gonna need you to just stay down. Hi, friend. You get any more pals? I'm gonna shut that door for a second. Oh, rapid fire, let's go. Oh, rapid fire, let's go, boys. Oh, yes, bodies piled up on the bodies. I'm gonna back up a second. I don't feel safe. Woo, Oh, the bodies are strewn. They are on this. Oh, there's loads of them, man. There is a lot of puppets out there. Just can you can you hear them? Oh, there's one right there. Dink, dink, dink. <laughs> right, I'm my head down. 
Pick up a few more arrows. Oh, they're in their little cages. They're in their little cell blocks. Got you. Oh boy, oh boy. I want to know where all these puppets are at right now. Friends? Hmm? Why does it sound so close? Ah! That explains a lot. They're all inside here, I think. Headshot. Headshot. Miss. Headshot. Oh, we've cleared them. We've actually cleared them. We've cleared a PD. Late at night. Oh, there's an M16 magazine that we just sold! Oh, we don't we don't actually need the M16 magazine, but Oh, that's a good find. That's also a good find. Uh, I was uh I was freaking out there for a second, I do apologize. Um I thought I had uh, an M16 in the previous episode. I did not have an M16. I had a VHS2. Uh, I do not have the magazine or the, the ammo. No, sorry, I don't have the right magazine uh, for the VHS2. It's it's a specific magazine that you need to... Oh, right, okay, this is going to be a... Can I get that? Can I... Okay, I'll just... I'll just... <coughs> oh! Oh! That man's got abs of steel, look at him! I mean, he's kind of warped into the... <laughs> oh! We need cans! That's something else we need, we need cans! Because I was going to make a grill in the previous episode! That's right! Let's get some... Let's get some... Oh, no cans! No cans! Shocking! Where are you? Where? What? Huh? Huh? Where? Is he upstairs? Is he upstairs? Oh, he's in a cell! Hi! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Rattled! Let's go! Easy peasy! Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about the bow. Use a bow. Just use one. See if you're ever going to play this game. If you're new, if you're experienced, use the bow. Just use the bow. I, I'm telling you, use the bow. You, you know that guy on like these Instagram reels and these TikTok reels? I don't have TikTok, by the way. Like I don't have a TikTok. I don't have a, a TikTok account. <gasps> it's my favourite backpack. Hold on. Can I Can I fit? Okay. Oh, man. I can't. Um, wait. Wait. What? Mm, no, I can't do that. I can't. I can't do that. I, oh no! I don't think I'm gonna be able to take that. You know what? I'm taking it. I'm. Uh, Gimme, mine. It's now my purse. Oh, V. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just load this up. I've got thirty rounds of uh, nine by nine by thirty nine. I think it is nine by three nine. Is it 9x39? Where is it 9x39? Am I blind? I'm blind! 9x39, I was correct. Tracer rounds, we, ha we will have a full ASVAL slash VSS magazine. Perfect. Very happy right now. Okay, that's one big stacked magazine right there. I don't have to worry about filling space now. Fabulous! Yeah, I'm going to take that. Do you know why I'm going to take it? Because eventually, I'm going to get a vehicle. And that, oh, and that vehicle, oh, is going to transport all the stuff that, oh, I want to sell. <laughs> oh. Big boy armor. Big boy. Big boy armor. <laughs> right. Break legs. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not break legs. That's fine. That's good. Um, I was going to go to this POI over here. I was going to go over there. But I'm kind of full. I am kind of full. I, you know what I'm going to do? Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. 
I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a little wander around here, see if I can look a few more things. Uh, I'm not going to bother renaming that just for right now. I know, I know we need to rename them all to hashtag buff M, but right now I can't be doing that. I need to be looting. I need to loot. I need to find things. Uh, that kitchen knife can come with me just as a spare. Search the bed for money. I found the money. More trainers. This uh, this house really likes to train. <gasps> it's a pirate hat. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that cotton shirt too. Because uh, what I can do with that is turn it into rags and uh, anything. Oh, that's not cool. He's leaving all the doors open, man. What are you doing? Yeah, fuds. Uh, dink. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I wanted to tell you guys about something, but the, the, the media's kind of already picked up on it. I've seen, I've seen stories in America, in, in uh, American news outlets, Australian news outlets, German news outlets, Austrian um, news outlets as well. Do you guys know about the Willy Wonka Glasgow thing? The Glasgow Willy Wonka like thing? Do you guys know about that? <laughs> That's so Glasgow. That's such a Glasgow thing to do. <laughs> right. How do I explain this? Right. So. Right, so you're trying to organise something for kids that's a lot of fun. And you decide, I'm going to pick a venue which is in a warehouse. A literal warehouse like I can over overstate that this was in a warehouse this was not in a exhibition center like the SEC the Scottish exhibition center wasn't in that it, it, it was in a warehouse it's in a fucking warehouse it's in a warehouse and of all places the uh, 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 sorry and of all things that they did they decided that the best idea to generate, like, posters, flyers, that kind of thing, was to use AI art. Now, I, personally, I don't like AI art. I don't like it. I prefer my art to be handmade by someone. However, in this instance, it, it showed the folly of AI art. So, whoever the organiser was... <laughs> Decided to go to some fucking AI prompt and prompted out like a chocolate tunnel. <laughs> Do you know the chocolate tunnel in Willy Wonka? He AI prompted that, used it as a flyer, made it look real, made it look as real as possible, right? Made it look as real as possible, stuck on the flyer. Here, come and walk through the chocolate tunnel, come and meet Willy Wonka. <laughs> When people showed up, I'm going to put a picture on the screen. This is what they were given. <laughs> here's the AI art. And here's the real thing. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I was crying in my work today when I saw this. I didn't even realise that this had happened. Apparently this happened yesterday. I didn't even know about it. I genuinely didn't know about it. Because obviously, in my family, I've got nieces, I've got nephews, I've got, I've, we've got young kids in my family. And, you know, they like, they like sweets, they like Willy Wonka, they like that kind of thing, they like that story. I don't know how they never got given a flyer for it. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, what a joke. And there's even like, you know that way where you like people record themselves nowadays. It's really weird. It's really weird. To, I mean, I'm I'm one to talk because right now I'm recording myself talking to a screen, but simulating the whole fact that I'm talking to you guys. They were recording themselves. They're recording the event organizer, and I couldn't help but look at the security guard between the event organizer, the security guard, and the. the and the parents who were rightfully pissed off. <laughs> they were so angry, they were furious. 
<laughs> oh, it was brilliant. Oh, and see the end of the video. Just the most Glaswegian guy I've ever heard in my puff. Ever. Like, I'm not saying that I don't hear Glaswegians every day. I do. I genuinely do. I am one of them. Just apparently I speak funny, but it's only to cater to you guys so you so you can kind of understand what I'm saying. Anyway. At the end of the video, it's just ushers a threat. <laughs> See if there was the cameras here, I'd yeah, do you and I'd turn you inside out. <laughs> I don't remember what he said, but he said something and I was crying. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, that's perfect. That's amazing. That's, that's, that's Glasgow in a nutshell. Like, if you do something, if you try and do something nice and you kind of lie to people about it and they pick up on the lie and then, <laughs> and then you try and cover yourself by, like, hiding behind a security guard. Glaswegians will just push past the guard. They'll just push past it and be like, oh, fucking. <laughs> it's grab you by the scruff of the neck and that. Oh, a wee bit of proudness in me, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's a wee bit of proudness. It's like, you should have just, you should have just barged through the guard, man. You should have just went through him. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. So yeah, that happened, that happened in my city. That happened in my city yesterday, apparently. And uh, it was... <laughs> I was crying in my work today, laughing about it. Oh, it was brilliant. Right, we've got ourselves a full uh, UMP45 magazine. Oh my days, this is what happens when I go for a walk, I get tired. I really shouldn't do that. I really shouldn't make videos after I've just went a walk. But anyway, anyway, what I'm going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to quickly nip to my base, drop everything off, and in about... I don't know, a couple of seconds, you'll probably find me uh, walking down, you know, this path right here. So, three, two, one, see you there. Well, this is very leisurely. Uh, I decided to stop off here, uh, at this little farm here, because I, I, I kind of need to pick up some of these apples and stuff. I kind of need to pick up some more food. There's a lot of ingredients in this game, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to find a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, of the ingredients for most of these meals. I'm gonna eat some of these apples though. So, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be heading here. We're gonna head into that POY. I can't remember what they call it, um, but we're heading there. That's where I want to go to try and pick up a few things. I'm gonna have to deal with a couple of puppets. I'm gonna have to deal with the sentries as well. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I've also lightened the load a little bit in my character as you can quite clearly see. Nice and light, nice and, you know, what's so Nimble, nimble is the word that I'm looking for. Nimble is the word that I'm looking for. Oh, whilst I'm here, uh, I totally forgot I had a Block 21 magazine, so I do have the 45 ACP for that. We do indeed have a block, so, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's reload this sucker. Yeah. Yeah. I love the Block 21. I really like this gun. One of my favourite guns in the game. One of my favourite handguns in the game. Oh, <gasps> you! F right, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay attention to that. I'm just gonna full on sprint to the POI because I don't want to waste time today. I want to get in there. Potentially find a shotgun. Potentially find mm, maybe a couple more magazines for things. I did notice, however. Uh, we do have a honey badger, we do have, not a honey, I keep calling it a honey badger, uh, a Mark 18, we do have a Mark 18, we do have an M16 magazine that is compatible with it, and we do have some 5.56, a smidgen, like two rounds, <laughs> like two rounds, um, so we do have everything that we, just about everything that we need for a 5.56 weapon, uh, I would like to find a P223 scope to put on it. I'd like to find a Desert Eagle flashlight to put underneath it. Uh, I would like to exchange the Magpul uh, handguard or the handrail that's on it for something like a little stubby. I prefer the stubby. Um, developers, you should definitely put that into the game. You should definitely put additional, uh, you know, foregrips into the game because it would make it more interesting and guns a little bit more unique. <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> but uh, those just those are just a few things that I would change out for the Mark 18. Uh, just just basic things. I would prefer a stubby 
uh, foregrip on the front or one of those big fat boy ones. Um, what else would I put on it? I would really like a laser sight. A proper red, red or green laser. Red, red or green laser. You know the ones that they put on the M4s? Um, in fact, those are IR lasers, I believe. I don't, I'm not brushed up on military stuff at the moment. Um, it's basically, the. it's essentially an IR laser on the front. Any of the, any of my American uh, viewers who are veterans or are still currently serving, can you guys tell me what the fuck that is? Is that an IR laser or is that just a normal red laser that you guys use? Uh, I would believe it was IR if you're using like night vision or nods as you call them. Oh, it's over here. But yeah, th th that's something I'd like to put on that gun. I'd like to put it on the side or the top. Like the left side or the right side. Not the underside, but definitely the top, left or right hand side. And uh, what else did I put on it? Oh, that's what I would put on it. I'd put on a holographic sight with a magnifier behind it. You know the ones that... Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna sound like a typical gamer here, but the ones that you could get in Battlefield, you know what I'm talking about? The one that, when they introduced the whole magnification, like you could flick it to the side and it would be back to one times. You could flick the magnifier back over it and be two times or two point five times. I thought that was really cool. See when they see when they, see when they initially introduced that to that game, that was awesome. I loved that. Um, not realizing that that was a real thing. I didn't realise that was a real thing at the time. I was young, leave me alone. I was naive and stupid. We were all, we were all naive and stupid, leave me alone. Right, I'm gonna get a few more uh, arrows here because I feel like I'm, 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 I'm on my last legs here. I'm not actually on my last legs, I've got 24 ar arrows sitting here. Right, this, this should be good, this should, this, should, this should be good. I'm gonna go through the hangers. Uh, I forgot to bring screwdrivers with me, which is a problem. But not a problem at this. Right, see, see before he even attempts to attack me. He's right there behind that wall. He's right here. He's right there. He's he's pacing up left and right. He's pacing left and right. Give me all these arrows. Right, that'll do. That'll do for right now. That's thirty arrows total. We can we can. Uh, we can start killing things now. Ho! Oh, heed! Shut it! Wait, did I not hit him? Oh, I definitely hit him that time. Woo! Woo! He, he kind of fell over. Right. What we want to do is we want to head to the hangars. Hello, madam. Dink. Did I hit him? I didn't. I actually missed him. So that's my fault. That is totally my fault. Right. These are the little hangers I want to go into. I'm just going to hide in this bush for just a second here. I want to see. I'm not so much worried about the sentry that's to my left. I'm worried about the sentry that is, in fact, pacing up and down that road right there. Is that him there? No, it's not. There he is. If we don't move, we'll be f well, we can move. We can move in the bushes. It's totally fine. They don't really spot you. I'm going to have to wait for him to go from right to left here, so we're going to be waiting here for a second. I'm also inside the scaffolding, it seems. <laughs> uh, whilst we wait, whilst we wait, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have a wee munch on my cucumber. A wee munchy munch. A wee, a wee crunchy tea crunchy. That menacing flamethrower right there. You're a menace! A menace to society! Right. Hold here for just a second. And we can go. Oh, that's not... That's not cool. Oh, that is really not cool. Can I not? Can I not? Can I not? Right, now I can. 
coming. Ooh. Hmm. There might be a gun in there. Might be a gun in there. Never too sure. Stop right there. Oh. Fuck a I don't make mistakes, I only make what now? What did he say? You don't see me. What I am glad about is that the sentries are all individuals. They don't have a hive mind a wee bit like the, the puppets do. Like see when the puppets get aggroed, neighbouring puppets will follow them to the source of whatever that noise was like you saw at the very start of the episode. I'm glad that the sentries don't ha don't share some sort of collective mind where when one spots you, the rest of them are like I wonder what I wonder what Ted's looking at. What's Ted looking at? I'ma look over there. Oh there's a person right there. Gatling gun. You know what I mean? Don't be aggroed. Oh! Sorry pal, I can't, I can't stop right now. Cool, he's out for the count. Oh, they've knocked me down a lot of health right now. I'm gonna go right up the top. I'm going right up the top. Right up the top, up we go. Not too phased about that. How many bullets have we got in this thing? I totally forgot how many bullets we actually have. Oh, okay, alright. What's my health looking like? C1 injuries, very heavy hits as well. Very <laughs> super hits, like massive hits. That was that was unacceptable. Right, the horde seems to have calmed down. Ooh, I'll take those. They will they will come in handy. Right, do we have any targets? I'm just gonna hide my face from him. I don't want him shooting me. <clears throat> Right, we're just gonna have to chill here for a second because there's nothing else I can do. Where did they hit me? So they smacked me in my leg, that's where the in that's where the limping's coming from. And they also clattered me in the arm, which probably explains why I was slow to swing with my bat. Oh boy. Right, I'm gonna repair my shirt here because it's getting a little bit too damaged. There we go, fixed. I'm glad that it didn't strike the tactical handgun holster, otherwise I would have lost my block. That would have been an issue. Right, what I can do, what I can do, is maybe, maybe, do this, cut this into rags. I'm glad that I'm a, a lot lighter weight now, like, see, see if I was carrying the, uh, see if I was carrying the hiking backpack, uh, I would have been, uh, Anka, Anka would have been dead there, like, straight up dead. <laughs> no questions asked, just super dead. Uh, bottle super, uh, suppressor. No, no, what, that's what I'm looking for. A bundle of rags, so in the event that I do get clattered again, I can quickly unbind all these rags, and it'll just be loads of clean rags that I can use and just patch all my wounds. It'll be perfect, it'll be great. I'm gonna put these in my spawn as well, so I'm just gonna do this, put that in there. 
That one there. Sorted. Absolutely no problems at all. Uh, but this is a problem though. The slow, the slow healing is going to be an issue. So we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to chill for a second. There's, there's nothing we can do to, to fight this. I don't have any Phoenix Tears. That's something that I want to eventually aim for. Phoenix Tears do a great job of treating all of your injuries and basically setting you back into a recovery stage. Um, it's basically like, it's, it's like a, it's like a massive healing serum. If you want to call it that, it's like a, heal, a healing serum. Like, if you've got a bullet wound, you no longer have a bullet wound if you have Phoenix Tears. It's that kind of, that kind of sci-fi. Uh, it's really cool, I really like it, but to get, to actually get to them, you need to do some lock picking, and I know a lot of people don't actually like the lock picking in this game. Uh, it's similar in style to Skyrim's lock picking, but like, I know a lot of people are not a big fan of it. That's why they're settings, I suppose. Uh, in the server settings for single player and multiplayer. We're halfway through stabilization of the injury, which is perfect. We are lying down with a naked woman lying on the floor in front of us. Uh, I didn't do anything. You cannot arrest me for anything. I am innocent. I am. I did not hit her. I shot her twice in the chest, but I did not hit her. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I wish this would hurry up, this stabilization. One thing that I can't, I cannot wait for, but also don't want to look forward to is the fact that if we do have a system for you know, potentially broken bones and ruptured organs. Because you see the muscles here, right? There's the muscles. Muscles. Bone structure. Okay, organs doesn't have a button. Organs don't have no button. But there you go, there's the muscle groups. Um. I am, I am not looking forward to the fact that we might have to do splints and stuff like that for broken legs, broken arms. God, what if you break your pelvis? What if you break your ta- what if you break your tailbone? What if you break your spine or a, or a, or a rib? Or your collarbone? God, what if you break your neck? <laughs> so many questions unanswered and I'm freaking out about it. I'm genuinely freaking about it because I know fine well that they will put that in the game. If they don't, they're crazy not to. They are crazy if they don't put that in the game, because it'd be such. Oh, it'd be it'd be so troll. You could jump off jump off a ledge, kind of sprain your ankle, and you'll be limping for a while. You, you jump from the wrong height, and you break your your femur or something. You break your ankle or break your break your shin bone, rupture your knee, so dislocate your knee, dislocate your femur. Oh God, there's so many things. If you land weird, or if you fall over, you could break your arm, you could break, break your hands. I totally forgot about the teeth thing as well. I totally forgot about the teeth. I totally forgot about this. The fact that we've also got a teeth indicator su suggests that in the future we can remove our teeth. Right, can I... Oh, I'm free. I'm free! Free! Right, let's go see if we can get ourselves some uh, some good loot. How? How? How, mate? It's getting a little bit on the dark side as well. Oh, you... Some bitch. Ah! I just want to go and lit things! Leave me alone, man! Oh. I'm pretending he's not there. And it worked! <laughs> pretending he wasn't there worked. Hey, you. Silence. Oh. Uh, no, I don't want to stop right here. I'll be your exception. A fatal exception. Edgelord! <laughs> Run, 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 run. Ed, Close the door, close the door, close the door. Close the bloody door. Close the door. Close the door. Hey, we're safe. <laughs> we're safe. 
we're safe, we're safe. Oh, we're not safe with that one. Go. The problem with them opening the door, forcing the doors open, essentially means that you're stuck with that door open for a while until it does its cooldown. That's why you need to open the doors. You need to open these doors as soon as you hear that banging on the door. Open the door, kill the puppet that's actually doing it, then close the doors. Because what will happen is <laughs> you'll have a very wide open yes very wide and open door exposing you to the sentries and you don't want that because eventually when the sentries start piping up or the puppets start piping up they start coming over towards you and you've got no way of closing the bloody door so open the door kill the puppet shut it as quickly as possible rinse and repeat if you need to if you need to do that rinse and repeat oh oh yes oh yes that's a gilly that's a weapon ghillie. We love those. I love weapon ghillies. I love them to bits. They're so cool. I love them. I, I don't know what it is. Just wrapping like a bit of green fabric, a bit of brown fabric or something. Some white fabric around a gun just somehow makes it look really cool. Oh! Zing! Let's go. What have we got here? We've got pesticides, we've got a scalpel, we have some crates. Uh, no, don't want to take that. Uh, I want to take that because I can sell that. I can sell. <laughs> I'm losing the hat for right now because I need to put this helmet on. It's a necessary thing to be putting on right now. There we go. There we go. Oh! I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I thought you were going to be there. Man, can you wait again? Oh, my brain is huge. My brain is massive, huge. Where are you shooting? Is he just randomly shooting through the corrugated iron? This isn't really corrugated iron. It's It does look like aluminium or some crap like that. But like, you're shooting right through the bloody... You're shooting through the building, man! I'm... 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 I'm not a threat. I am not a threat. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm not a threat. Leave me alone! What else have we got? 44 Tracer. How many of those? 15. 15 of those. I'm also taking things I think I know will sell if I can get lots of money back for them. If I can get money back, that's that's great. That's perfect. The more money I can make, the better. Because at the moment, my balance is sitting kind of low. <laughs> it's, it's not looking pretty good right now. I need to be careful. Woo! Stop shooting me. You don't know where I am. I'm a figment of your imagination. Leave me alone. Fuck it off. Hey, give me that box. I'm going to search that box. I'll search that box. Ooh, you be careful, 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 careful. He can shoot through that door. Oh, shit, like that! Wait here for a second. <laughs> Just wait here for a second. Oh man, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting him. To, wasn't expecting him to stop right there. Okay, he's going away. Perfect. Right. The loot here has been okay. It's not been great. I've not been. I've not really went through any of the. Oh, could I? I've not really went through any of the locked containers because I don't really have anything to. You know, burst them open. I'm going to take those seeds. Those seeds are eventually going to get planted by me. I am starting a farm. I am starting a farm. I am no longer a loot goblin. I am a farmer. I am now the scum farmer. That is what I'm going to be doing. Because these damn sentries have no chill. Whoa! Predator. Oh. Hey. Uh, actually... Uh, 
Uh, uh. Why does it? Why does it not look good? I suppose it's only one color. It's only one color. Is it nice? Is, is it nice? I can't tell if it's nice or not. Uh, it's icky. It's yucky. It's ugh, yuck. But we'll make do with what we've got. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end here. What I'm going to do is in the next episode, I'm going to remain here and probably go to the south side of this POI and probably bundle up the rest of the loot. Hopefully I can find a couple of screwdrivers and hopefully I can find some find something of sheer substance. I've also got a new Block 21 magazine here so I don't think I'm going to be worried for uh, you know any sort of engagement with a horde or anything like that. I think it's going to be quite easy to take them on, especially with the, the 45, 45, the Lord's Caliber, as my American audience calls it. Um, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I did do this after my walk. I have been relatively chill today. I've not been trying to do anything too hectic. And, well, if you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a thumbs up on the video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more of this series, if you want to see more of these episodes, consider subscribing. Ring the little bell you step to date with videos just like this, as well as a Sunday night live stream, which starts between 6 and 7 p.m. UK. We go for about 3-4 hours playing Scum and a variety of other games. Sometimes you'll also spot me painting a Warhammer 40k mini or a Horus Heresy mini. I'm going to be bringing that back. We're also going to be doing a lot of fishing on this channel as well. Uh, real life fishing, by the way. Real life fishing. You're actually going to go out places and take my GoPro with me and my, my really cool uh, my really cool mic that I've got set up. That, that, that it's just perfect. It cost me £20 and it's perfect. It's just as good as this mic right here. And it's great for outdoor stuff. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go away, get myself some Greek yogurt, some uh, some some almonds and some slices of banana and enjoy my evening. Hope you enjoy yours as well. Thank you all very much for watching and as always, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time.